welcome to another video on Back of the Net. My name's Sam Davis, and with me, uh, well, is a voice you've heard on the podcast, but not necessarily someone you've seen. It's a Dave Fitzgerald, who is events director at Lashings, and also the voice of Lashings, Scott Charlton. How are you guys, all right? Hey, great. Yeah, Thank very you. well. Yeah, Scott Beer. Not bad for a Friday. Yeah, not, not <laughs> bad for a Friday. And um, we're delighted to talk about a new event that's going to be happening in April called Legends Live. Um, but we mentioned Lashings. Can you just tell us a little bit about it? Sure, so um, Lashings is a sports-based event company best known uh, as the Harlem Globetrotters of cricket actually, its um, roots are in cricket, uh, but we all do we do all sorts of sporting speaker events really, uh, ranging from uh, the cricket legend matches that we do with the likes of Courtney Walsh, Kirtley Ambrose, Mark Rampagas, Simon Jones, uh, through to football legend matches and then lots of corporate sort of lunches and dinners, charity events and then this type of uh, show that we're doing on April the 2nd which is a more informal uh, sports bar type feel event on uh, for the uh, Legends Live. Yeah that's right and I've, I've, I've been to one of the Lashings events before and you had people like Chris Lewis and John Embury. Uh, you have to play for your country to play for us so yeah. as long as you've done that you know it doesn't matter but Matt Letizia came along and uh, I well, he played very well, to be fair. He yeah, did. I think he might come back. Scored and a few runs and then he got run out. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> who would have thought? <laughs> and you're the voice of Lashing, so you're on the stage, and so people will be seeing your face and hearing your voice. Well, yeah, 18 years, so okay, it's, it's, it's man and boy. But uh, I say, you say that, we have Henry Blofeld does ball-by-ball ball wow. commentary, so he should really be the voice, but somehow I have ended up with the mantle, <laughs> and, uh, and he's, too, he's, well, he's, he, he's happy enough, isn't he? Yeah, no, he loves it. He loves Lashing. <laughs> See, the only cricket he does now, interestingly, so he's really? gone from Test Match Special yes. to Lashings, and uh, he's a big part of our family. You know? Yeah. So we've got you guys on the channel because obviously we spoke about it on the podcast uh, last week, Dave. But yeah. this event in April, uh, April the second at the Village Hotel, um, it's an AFC Bournemouth one, uh, a Cherry Special, and we've got some really good names speaking, haven't we? Yeah. I mean, the background to it is, you know, Scott and I through Lashings. You know, we work with, you know, household names, the likes of Phil Tufnell, Frank Bruno, uh, Paul Merson, uh, Ray Parler, you know, all sorts of, uh, of speakers. And, you know, you can be done in various formats, but sometimes it can be quite expensive for fans to actually go to these type of events. So, oh, yeah, I mean, I've seen some you're sort of evening with events and, you, you know, you're starting at 60 quid a ticket or, or whatever. But that's not real. That's not... I, you know, most of us, I, I'm lucky enough, I've got two young children. It's, I wonder how my dad ever managed to pay for us to go to football. It's, it's a lot of money. And the other thing that we identified, I remember one particular event, and there was a table we both identified, and there was a guy in a black dinner suit sat next to a guy in a shirt and T-shirt. And nobody kind of knew how to dress. Everybody has a meal that nobody wants, an auction that goes on too long. And then 20 minutes of a speaker, which is a lot of money to pay for that little bit. So we've kind of cut it right back and made it completely accessible. Yeah. Access all areas. We we don't stream it live for obvious reasons because we do talk about things that yeah. you know matter to Bournemouth fans. Yeah. And some of it's not necessarily. We tell it the way it is. We don't have to put the soft coating on it. You know. I think with the, the Bournemouth side of things as well is that you know Scott and I purchased the Lashes brand uh, just coming up to two years ago now. Uh, it was headquartered out in Maidstone and we've moved uh, the headquarters and the back office here to, to Bournemouth yeah. so you know you've got a, a sporting uh, speaker events company that goes up and down the country works with household names but it's going to be brilliant to do an affordable event yeah. for the fans of our local yeah, club people, you know yeah. and the, the guys that we've got who I guess we'll talk about you know all through the different eras of Bournemouth mm. you know no one knows it but you know than us in terms of actually putting it on stage so yeah. and then if we can get the fans there what we like to call the turnstile fans yeah it'll be a fantastic night for everyone to mingle and enjoy some uh, nostalgia and stories yeah exactly and we, yeah we always love a good story and um, I'm sure you'll be getting the best out of them so mm. let's hear the names who is going to be there on the night so on the night we've got um, Luther Luther Blissett yeah. um, we've got Steve Jones uh, so two strikers and uh, a good friend of ours Paul Morell oh, um, yeah. absolute legend of the club and, and as I say uh, very close to us as well. We wouldn't do the first event, event yeah. without Mozzie, I don't think. No. He, play, he played left back, did he, for Bournemouth? Oh, was right. it? I think, I think so. One of the greatest left backs of I've ever yeah. seen. Yeah. I, I've ever seen. He was a quality, quality player. Offered the chance to go away. He might talk about it on the night. Yeah. 
but stayed at Bournemouth and one of those real he, he was quality absolute quality and of course Luther I mean if you have a stand named yeah. after oh, you on telly yeah. I'm sure he's going to have mixed emotions after that game the other week when they, you know obviously <laughs> Watford winning 3-0 and yeah. you know they're bouncing at the moment although yeah I mean, they're not doing well they've had a few upsets they were knocked out the cup uh, to Tranmere which yeah. is a bit of a scary one for yeah. them but um, they were playing the youth but um, and also Steve Jones as well yeah. Steve Jones what yeah. a goal scoring hero he was yeah, yeah he was indeed yeah. obviously you know did very well at West Ham as well and uh, you know we, we've been interacting with him he's done some things with Lashington in the past mm. as, as had Luther um, but um, a, a really good guy a prolific goal scorer and although he didn't play many many games for Bournemouth he was a he was a real favourite he was a fan's favourite you know yeah. you get, sometimes get that you get a player that just seems to come blindside everyone and and it was just the way he played football. I think it was the Bournemouth way. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. The he um, he scored goals. He showed a lot of passion. And then I think he went to Charlton. But then he came back on loan for a bit. That's and then right. That's right. Yeah. Scored four in five games or something. Yeah. So um, he's a couple. He needed those four. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he's been on the podcast as well and speaks very well, very freely, which I love because there's nothing worse at the moment when you see these interviews after the games with these footballers. And they're all sort of media trained responses, yeah. and yeah. you don't really get much out of them. But I gather you're going to be getting some cracking stories out well, of these did, three. Um, a few years ago, we did, um, I guess it's going to become a taster event now, but we did an evening uh, for Paul Morell, yeah. you know, a, a standalone event. It's a recognition. And a recognition, and had a lot of his family and friends there, but also a lot of uh, fans as well. And what you do get in that format, and with the Legends Live, it's going to be extended out to a panel. Yeah. So you do get the interaction, we will have the audience questions to everyone on the panel not just kind of one at a time in 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 that way and it's like you said you know with Bournemouth fans with the memories you got Luther you know his home debut mm. you know when he scored all those goals and you know nearly scoring against Manchester United yeah. uh, in the FA Cup with Richard Cook's cross we're hoping Cookie's going to be coming down on the night as well to say hello and then obviously with Mozzie I mean I remember first games of Bournemouth in the early 80s going in the old newsstand and if you think we're close to the crowd now in those days you're literally you know when they're warming up they're literally there yeah and um, it's well the winter green rub <laughs> yes <laughs> so yeah the format of the night then is um, there'll be a QA and a involved and uh, yeah you tell me all about it yeah so I mean the first half will be I an individual interview with each of the players um, it's sort of uh, sort of chat show style we like to do it like a bit like a, a Piers Morgan live story so likely to be a bit of video footage in yeah. there as well oh, nice. and then just to put it in context really you know it's, yeah. we, it, the older you get the better it was and we're going to remind everyone it was better in those days <laughs> yeah. but incredibly there is some footage of those players actually playing and it doesn't matter how old you are when you yeah. see these guys actually performing yeah. kind of puts it all in context so we're working quite hard on getting some highlight footage and, uh, and bits and pieces it just to put it on context so the younger fans who don't remember with love like we do will get the gist you yeah. know, and there has been a yeah. bit of a rift between the older Bournemouth fans and the younger Bournemouth yeah. fans. Yeah. I, 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 I was there when we won promotion. I've written a tracksuit climbing over the roof at, <laughs> at um, Fulham, then at Craven yeah. Cottage. And that, I, I was there when Leeds came down and rioted. Yeah. I was there when we beat Manchester United. So was I, yeah. yeah, I was there, know. yeah. And, and so and there's an awful lot of people around the town that, for whatever reason, yeah. there is another podcast, yeah. can't or don't get a chance to go and see the, yeah. the team yeah. play in the hay day now and in a lot of ways I, I, you know we often forget our history and without these guys back in the day oh, yeah. Yeah. without the you know I remember that, they go, the crowd singing Bournemouth and Boscombe Bournemouth and Boscombe yeah. and we were the longest name in the league yeah. you know they yeah. said football clubs of Bournemouth and Boscombe yeah. four and <laughs> it didn't happen <laughs> yeah. often but then when they were the James Alexander Gordon yeah. and I think that's the sort of the old days that, that the memories are still there and of course the saddest part is if any one of those players was in the game today yeah. we wouldn't get anywhere near them no that's true we that's simply true. wouldn't get anywhere. we were in London recently and and, and uh, Harry Kane happened to be where we were and he literally was rushed in he had people around him he was rushed out it was almost like a Hollywood superstar and I can promise you 
it won't be anything like that. Yeah, it won't no. be anything like you know. These guys are there. If you we want might be a bit like we that. might. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's a different story. VIP <laughs> treatment. Yeah, you yeah. know, it's, uh, no, we're, we're going to have a very small VIP where you are guaranteed to have a meet and greet and to have a photograph if that's what you want. And there will be plenty of chance for you to have your pictures taken on the night to get an autograph, just to have a chat and remember Amazing. old days, you know. And that's the kind of event and that's the feel we're looking I for. Think, I think it's a fine balance because I mean, ultimately with Bournemouth, you know, as fans, <coughs> what Eddie's done the last 10 years Brilliant. never Absolutely be repeated, Brilliant. in my opinion. Um, will always will go down as the greatest Bournemouth manager of all time, in my opinion. Yeah. So, you know, it's respecting that and love Eddie, you know, spent a lot of time with Eddie and, and the guys, uh, Jason Tennant and everyone. It's a really, it's a supreme setup. But as Scott said, this is just something different for fans of kind of my age and older that uh, remember remember all those times and want to sort of pay homage and our respects to to the people that we grew up with, the people yeah. we grew up watching. So, I mean, you made it really affordable, which is a really good thing because these events, as I said earlier, like often you know aren't. Um, but through the podcast and through the YouTube channel, we've got a lot of exiles that are all around the world sure. that won't be able to go. Um, will there be an opportunity for them beforehand, maybe to submit questions for consideration? For yeah, no problem. So you can facilitate that. Yeah, yeah, so maybe if you're watching, pop your questions in the YouTube comments, or you can uh, send us them directly, and we'll be sure to send them on uh, to get well, uh, you used be on the night. Anyway. You're, you're gonna, of course, yeah. yeah. Maybe yeah. you yeah. could record the answers and. Oh, well, there you are. Yeah. Yeah. So well, that, yeah, if you've got back. the time, we've got yeah. the time. Yeah. 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 Oh, I mean, one of the other things go. I want to do or we, we are going to do on the night as well is we um, <coughs> going to come up with uh, a few options and suggestions for future shows Ooh, so yeah. those, the people that attend on the night will have that opportunity <coughs> to, 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 to vote in that way as who well who do you want next time yeah, so, yeah really interesting keep, so yeah. yeah, FN Akuku keeps popping up it does yeah, yeah. 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 few people have said that there are a yeah. few you know and Bournemouth has always been a club I think I don't know whether it's due to how adverse it's been the proximity to the pitch um, that the actual stands are but the players have always had a deep connection with the supporters so yeah. it'll be really nice for them to get that little bit closer as well at this yeah. event I, th I can't wait for it um, so tickets then they start at a Ten pounds, pretty de pretty decent price. £10. Yeah, so tell me about the ticket structure. So the, yeah, the ticket structure is um, ten pounds uh, plus yeah. the, the the small charge of the online charge as well. That's available on Eventbrite. Yeah. Uh, so if you go on www.eventbrite.co.uk yeah. in the search bar, type in Legends Live Charity yeah. Special, something like that, and you'll yeah. be at, get access to those tickets. Yeah. Um, we'll alternative we'll also put the link in the description below. So if you yeah. look at the description below this. We'll pop the link in, so click it, and you're straight there. Oh, as well. perfect! Thank and uh, we've got in on in off the far post, uh, the uh, shop oh, yeah. in in sort of bos between yeah, Postdown and Boscombe uh, on the main road there, quite near the club as well. You can uh, pop in there, and they've got some tickets as well. So it's ten pounds to start with uh, for standard tickets, and thirty-five pounds. Uh, there's a limited number of those for a pre-show meet and greet, VIP mm. meet and greet. And it's on April the second, is it? And the village at the village hotel. Yes. And what time does that all kick off? Uh, so. The show will start about 8.15, doors will open for VIP at 7 o'clock and uh, 7.30 for um, standard tickets, that's to get into the function room but you've got the bar there with food available on the night as well if you want to come down a bit earlier and um, just uh, enjoy the whole evening. Sounds like an ideal night and hopefully it will give the team and the fans a lot of good luck because I think the next game after that will be Newcastle at home and who knows we'll, we'll probably need the points it's, it's getting I mean, it's getting did, important now for we Bournemouth we play the it? game where we go through the uh, the fixture list and try and guess yeah, the results like, yeah, one point there three points yeah, there exactly. yeah. we all do it don't yeah. We? Yeah. and of course the, the, we're all dreading the yeah. running it just yeah. looks horrible it just looks horrible so yeah, um, yeah I mean the, the, the club's never needed this more than now Possibly when we were with the cherry aid and the bucket, yeah. but <laughs> certainly so, from know, a Premier League perspective, yeah. the fans have never been needed more. I no, think, exactly you know, and uh, Eddie, well, Eddie can do it. Club, I mean, it fits with the host at yeah. Bournemouth for from well, all through Match the division, hospitality, from Match Day yeah. hospitality. Yeah. Yeah. and so it's a, we've all got to be a skin in the game, haven't we? Yeah. You know, it's our town. It was so important yeah. that we have a Premiership. Yeah, that was a journey when I started as Match Day hospitality host. Uh, Jimmy Quinn was still just about the manager. He had about 40 people yeah. um, in the uh, in the uh, top four restaurant yeah. for an FA Cup. Wow. 40 people in the uh, for an FA Cup game, and you you did um, interviewers uh, for, for the 
the re- people in the restaurant and the guests there uh, <laughs> for that interview were Eddie Howe, um, who is with the, doing stuff with the U team at the time. Whatever happened to him? Whatever yeah, happened to him. And uh, the other nice guest uh, yeah. was, and he wasn't actually a Bournemouth player at the time, was Steve Fletcher. Oh, yeah. um, within wow. a few weeks, Eddie was manager, Steve was back at the club, and uh, when I uh, finished uh, doing that role, Bournemouth had uh, my last game Bournemouth secured promotion to the Premier League so, so that was a bit of a journey yeah great time. you were a bit of a talisman for them <laughs> yeah I know them, I know but well, they've done even better since then so maybe, <laughs> maybe not so yeah that's the Legends live event then so that's at the Village Hotel on uh, Thursday April the 2nd uh, link is below make sure you do get tickets but um, for now Dave and Scott thank you so much for coming on the podcast you're very welcome come on you cherries come on you cherries we'll see you on the night (laughs) and we'll see you in the next video of the cherries